as if running this facility wasn't challenging enough. Now we're having problems with transit. I suppose that's what we get for using private contractors instead of official transport. The pilot gave some cockamamie story about being intercepted by an unidentified ship. Apparently it looks alien and closed down his systems. Left him stranded for a while. Whatever. I wasn't in the mood to listen to some void crazy pilots inane wittering. All I know is by the time he got here, the prisoners were ready to riot. I've sent a strongly worded memo to the authorities demanding we use union approved contractors from now on. We have an emergency situation. At first, I thought there'd been a breakout. I couldn't have been more wrong. They jumped in right on top of us. The proximity relays didn't catch a thing. It was just two ships, but they shut down our defenses before we even had a chance to get them online. Then they hit the facility with some kind of pulse. Life support is still functional, but all other systems are fried. Luckily, the wardens had the presence of mind to initiate manual lockdown on all cell blocks, so the prisoners remain contained. Unfortunately, I'm sealed inside the command center. I've sent a mayday signal, and I tried hailing whoever attacked us, but <laughs> so far, no luck. We'll just have to wait this out and hope for the best. Someone has to come soon. We lost contact with Central two days ago. Surely the alarm will have been raised by now. I'm trying to jury-rig the surveillance system so I can see what's going on in the rest of the facility, but the temperature's dropping by the hour. Sure as hell isn't making the job any easier. The life support readings say everything's fine. So why is it so cold in here? There's got to be at least 20 below in here. My hands are numb. Gotta be honest, I've had better days. I've got the surveillance system working again. Looking at the monitors now. Prisoners, the wardens. Every last one of them's gone. Whatever shut the facility down must have taken them. But why? And why did they drop the temperature? I don't know. But I do know. I'm freezing to death. Can't decide what's worse. Slowly dying in this ice cube. Or being taken by whatever it is out there. I guess I don't have much of a choice. 